Hello everyone, my name is Michael Davies. I'm the rabbi at Congregation Dor Tikva in Charleston, South Carolina, and a member of the Executive Committee of the RCA. And it's a privilege for me to share with you Chomer Lidrush on Parshat Bamidbar. Let's start out with an introduction with a hook to get us into the idea, two different ideas to think about. One, the entrance to the neighborhood in which I live. Uh, there's a sign that often has ideas on it, sometimes it's just information, sometimes something of inspiration. In the last few weeks, the idea that was written on that sign was, don't count the days, but make the days count. And to note that different, that distinction is something important for Svir Asa Omer, important for us during this, particularly during this time, um, but also as we enter into Sefer HaPikudim, the Book of Numbers. And the second hook, which may be related, is also this idea of what's the, what does it mean to be called the Book of Numbers? Why do we focus in on this idea of census, of counting of numbers, especially given that the name of the, the classic name of the text is Sefer Bamidbar, talking about the wilderness, the desert. How do we switch over to Sefer Pigudim and calling it the Book of Numbers? Moving into the idea, I look to the first Rashi uh, in our Parsha, in the Sefer. Bamidbar Sinai Bechala Chodesh. And Rashi begins, it says, Mitochi batan lefanav mone otam kol sha'ah. Because of God's loving, caring, uh, cherishing nature to the Jewish people in relationship with the Jewish people, he counted them at every moment. When they left Egypt, he counted them. When they fell in, with regard to the Egel Hazahav, they were counted. And when the Shechina came to dwell on them in the Mishkan, in the Mikdash, they were counted as well. Um, it's a beautiful idea to note that we begin this Sefer with this message of mitochi batan lefanav, of the beloved relationship, the connection, the cherished connection between HaKadosh Baruch and the Jewish people. But it doesn't end there because if you look at the beginning of every Sefer in the Torah, Rashi begins with this idea each and every time. The first Rashi in the Torah talks about Bereshit, Bishvil Yisrael Shenikru Reshit. The world was created for the sake of the Jewish people. The second, it talks about listing the names of Yaakov's children, and it says that God lists them again. Why? To make known the love, the cherished relationship that he has with them, that they are compared to the stars. In Vayikra, we talk about the Lashon of Vayikra as Lashon Chiba, this uh, language of belovedness, of cherishing. And then Bamidra we mentioned, and Devarim also talks about why it is that the beginning of the Sefer is spoken about in such a fashion, in such a, fra- in such a way, even though it's tochecha, and Rashi concludes and says, Mechnech kevodan shel Yisrael. Each and every time we see this uh, beloved nature, this connection, this relationship between the Jewish people, both in the good times and in the bad. And I think that this uh, can be taken for practical implications in a number of different directions. Uh, number one, we can look at it from the perspective how I did it when I presented this a number of years ago, um, from the perspective of education. Whenever we want to teach, and the Torah is certainly our primary book of teaching, we have to start out with human connection, with relationship, uh, with this, uh, this idea of love. Because no significant learning happens without significant relationship. And people aren't going to learn, certainly children, are not going to learn from people that they don't like. Um, so important to recognize this as a starting point for our educational process uh, in terms of our teaching and learning with all those who we come into contact with. Number two is um, the idea of mone otam kol sha'a, that God counts us at every moment in time. And each time, certainly in the beginning, each time we begin a sefer, we begin a time, a period in our lives, we have to remember those relations, to remember the connection, not just with the divine, with the people around us as well, um, the cherished nature and the connections that we have uh, with those that we come into contact with. That's a starting point for anything that we're beginning, for any new a stage in our lives. And I want to mention particularly at this point in time that if you look, notice the list at, in the Rashi, it doesn't just list the happy times, the good times of Hashra Sashchina and Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. It also mentions the Egel Hazav. It also mentions the difficult times, the challenging times. And as we sit now, uh, hopefully coming to the end of a very challenging time in our lives and in human history, uh, to recognize that we always have this backdrop of Chibatan Lefanav, of God's love and cherishing of His people and of the entire world, recognize that when we ask the question of where is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we know the answer is Imo Anochi Bitsara, that Hashem is very much with us, because mitochi batam lefanav mona otam kol sha'a, wishing you all health 
and courage and strength during this difficult time, and may we come out of it very, very soon.